Consumers are walking into health food stores and they're looking for a safer, more natural product because they know that this country is insanely addicted to oil. We are so addicted to oil, we bathe our children in oil. In addition, one of the great challenges our generation faces is, is preventing the next oil war. You know, oil only has a bad scenario, but it gets from bad to worse. The worst case scenario is in 10 or 15 years, our children are going off to fight another war based strictly on scarcity of oil. Well, 4% of every barrel of oil is devoted to starter feedstocks like ethylene oxide. So when consumers start buying con personal care products, cosmetics, household cleaning products, gardening supplies that are free from petrochemicals, they really are making a difference. I call this Green Patriot environmentalism. This story really begins with Mystery Inc. and my own kids. My kids love the cartoon characters like Scooby-Doo. They love brats. As I was writing Safe Trip to Eden, I decided to explore what's really in these products. I started testing these products and found that virtually every kid's bubble bath and shampoo product is contaminated with 1,4-dioxane. None of the products listed 1,4-dioxane on the label. The reason why 1,4-dioxane is in there is that companies are using fairly harsh detergents as their starting materials. These ingredients are called sodium lauryl sulfate. These ingredients are so harsh that the companies have to find ways to soften them. And they do this by adding ethylene oxide to the raw material. Now we know that ethylene oxide causes human cancer. Cancer is the second leading cause of death among children aged 15 and under in the United States today. That's not because they're smoking more or eating fatty foods. It's often because of their exposure to chemical carcinogens in little amounts in many different products. So my next question was, well, where do I find safe products? So where do I go? I go to the natural products industry. Here are the best products in the world, I'm thinking. I'll go buy some products, I'll have them tested, they'll be free from this contaminant, problem over. But it wasn't so simple. One product labeled themselves as Giovanni Organics. Another product, Jason, labeled themselves as pure, natural, and organic. I ended up taking these products to the same laboratory that had tested the mainstream products, and these products were also contaminated. Some of the products from the natural products industry were actually more contaminated than the products I was buying in drugstores and supermarkets. Consumers are being misled, and, and today when we know that there are organic standards, companies that use words like organic on their label are truly being consciously deceptive in my opinion. The good news is there were many products that were free from this contaminant, and there is an easy way for consumers to find these products. So this is not just a bad news story, it's, it's really a facing of the truth, a reckoning, and at the same time, a call for responsible companies to find solutions, and they are available to companies. So there's really a lot of good news here, but we have to face some difficult truths for the natural products industry, and these truths have real implications for this country and for our future.